Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today in this video presentation. My name is Vanessa Frula and I'm the flutist of the Chaos Wind Quintet. Our group met at the Frost School of Music at the University of Miami while we were all doing our doctoral studies. Chaos Wind Quintet has a diverse international background as our members are from Panama, France, Greece and the United States. Our repertoire, besides including traditional classical works, it also includes newly composed music. With this video, we would like to introduce you to the music of Jeff Scott. Keep watching to learn more about this composer and then listen to the Chaos Wind Quintet performing one of his works. Thank you, Vanessa. My name is Jessica and I'll be talking about our composer, Jeff Scott. Jeff Scott is originally from Queens, New York. His studies began when he studied with Carolyn Clark and participated in the Brooklyn College Prep Program. For his formal studies, he went to the Manhattan School of Music and studied with David Jolly. For his master's program, he continued to Stony Brook and studied with William Purvis. Since his studies, Jeff has experienced many musical opportunities. On Broadway, he has played for The Lion King and the revival of Showboat. He has been a part of the Alvin Ailey Dance Troupe Theater since 1997, and he has also had extensive further experience in pit theater playing, as well as a studio horn player. He has been with the Imani Wind Quintet since 1997. He has written many compositions for Imani and other quintet groups. He brings all of his experience and diversity to his compositions, including our piece that we'll perform for you starting something. Next, Katie Beth will elaborate on Scott's compositional style. Thank you, Jessica. Jeff Scott has many composing and arranging credits to his name, including his work on the off-Broadway production of Becoming Something, the Canada Lee story, and the stage production of Josephine Baker, A Life of Lay Jazz Hot. He also has written several pieces for his wind quintet called Imani Winds, including the piece you're about to hear, Start in Something, and a double wind quintet called Sacred Women. He also owns his own self-publishing company called The Bread Man. Many of his pieces feature elements of classical and jazz intertwined together, but he also incorporates elements from other cultural styles of music. According to Jeff, he really likes to write classical music that has no cultural boundaries and speaks to anyone that recognizes the drumbeat of the urban existence. Hello, my name is Melanie Ferragone and I'm the bassoon player at Chaos Wind Quintet. So, there are many ways to show virtuosic playing or making a piece challenging. Jeffrey Scott uses many musical elements to, to make this piece challenging and fun at the same time. So I will talk to you about three elements he uses uh, to make this piece just a little hard, but at the same time make it so special. The first element is going to be extreme register. I will use my instrument as an example. This piece is very groovy and the bassoon is used as the bass line many times, but not all the time. But when he does not use the bassoon as a, as a bass line, he puts the bassoon up in the high register and then uses the, the horn as the bass line in the very low part of the instrument, in the horn as well. So playing with these extremes, changing the colors, is, is, is a little bit challenging, but that's why he gets all these changes of colors in the woodwind quintet. The second element that I would like to share with you is playing unison. So in the middle part of, the, of this piece, there is this Afro jazz part that the bassoon is keeping this, this uh, ostinato in the bass line. And then the O has the melody in the high register and is, is very syncopated. And suddenly the flute joins in and then the clarinet joins in and they're playing unison, a syncopated melody in a very fast tempo. And what it makes it hard is that you have to play together, play the same length of notes and also uh, keeping these syncopated rhythms within the melody. So it can be, it's, it's really fun as well. The last element I would like to share with you 
what I just said, syncopation and all of that. Rhythm. Wow, rhythm, it can be very challenging uh, as, a, as a woodwind quintet because we all have to play together and feel the pulse together. So playing the rhythms in a piece that is very groovy can be a challenge. Uh, let's, let's say an example, let's, let's sing, let's sing the beginning of the piece. So the beginning of the piece, I will, I will, I will snap in the arms of every beat, right? Yeah, so you saw the, there were moments I was not playing or not singing and in those moments nobody is playing so we have to keep that in our mind, in our pulse so when we have the next entrance we all play in the same place at the same time so those are just an example just three examples of how he makes this piece challenging shows virtuosi vir virtuosism in the players but at the same time have so much fun i hope you enjoy that i really love when we're seeing this girl swing quintet we always have a great time but it's also a lot of work and for that we need to do a lot of detail work measures at a time maybe even with just one measure at a time so what we do is when we started practicing starting something that really cool piece we listen to it of course we listen to other groups playing it and we were okay how are we gonna approach that and we just did the beginning in the beginning it's there's a lot happening but it's just very few notes actually played by the instruments. I start the piece and I need to make sure everyone is ready to play it. It's a lot of eye contact. I've never made so much eye contact <laughs> in my life that in that piece, but it was just very, very interesting. Um, but a lot of detail work in that first section. And then everyone is playing much more, but then the rhythm and the energy is very important. There's also a lot of little solos and moments where you hear more the clarinet, the flute, the bassoon, the horn, the oboe, everyone is highlighted in that piece and that's really what I like about it. There's also little duets, there's like a duet between the clarinet and the oboe that needs to really be locked in together. There's also that really cool groove um, towards the end of the bassoon. Dun, dun, dun. And that's something we worked on a lot. And Melanie is just a natural, she's from Panama and she just has the groove naturally so it's been always a, a great moment for the group to just have a person that is just so groovy and so fun and always dance and that's always a great time in rare souls but her moment here is very important because then the flu the clarinet and the oboe have that really difficult passage toward the end with a ton of notes and they need to be really together so the three of us we also worked a lot on just that section to be matching when you're in a group it's not always you rears the five of you everyone is there during the rehearsal but there's moments where just three just two you know need to work together to make it a really good piece but all those detail works are very important because that makes a great piece and a great performance and then when you know the piece so well and you know the other parts what your colleagues are playing um, you can just make great music and have a really good time and that's why with chaos we always have a really good time in rehearsal
Thank you.